class today on this Friday the 8th. I'm sure you guys are glad the first week of school is over. And uh, let's go ahead and, and get started with today's announcements. We have a lot to do today. First of all, you will have a quiz next week, so please understand that. At this time, please turn in your homework from yesterday. Now, by the way, Mrs. Duke told me you guys got to the 38th minute of the video. That left you 13 minutes of homework last night. 13 minutes. That's not too much homework, okay? So hopefully everyone has the assignment turned in. Incompletes for track two. Let's take a look at what we have here. Um, I did not get this assignment. It was put on Tuesday from Taylor, Brindley, Dakota, or Will. So guys, please turn that in um, as soon as possible by today, actually. It should be turned in by today. So it's not turned in by today unless there's something you need to let me know about. Um, you will not be able to turn this in. Okay. All right. Remember, if you're absent one day or many days, it doesn't matter. The first day you come back, if we're taking a test or a quiz, you will take it. Um, unless you contact me while you're absent, telling me why you're not able to watch the videos. Okay. So stay on top of your videos when you're absent. Today we're going to be taking a quiz <clears throat> and taking notes. Okay. Taking a quiz and taking the uh, the video today is about proving triangles to be similar. It's actually pretty tough material, and even though the video is not that long, it will stay. It will still take a while to cover the material. I believe there will be quite a few times where Mrs. Duke will have to pause. And yes, I know there's an E there. Um, she will have to pause the video. Okay. All right, continuing on, the, um, let me take a second and talk about the one postulate you will be learning today. Mrs. Duke, when the quiz is over and the notes are over, if there's any free time, I would like the students to copy this postulate five times each. Now, I told you guys I was doing away with that kind of assignment, the copying assignments, and I am. But if there's time at the end of the class period, Mrs. Duke, have them do that and have them turn it in before they leave today. Um, if they only get it done three or four times, fine, or you might not need to have them copy it at all. Um, if there's no time left at the end of the class period, so if there's no time left, then don't worry about that. The teaching video is called Lesson 7.3. It's about 26 minutes long. Start it, please, Mrs. Duke. At the 3 minute and 49 second mark, there is no homework for over the weekend, so um, um, enjoy that. And now at this time, please pause the video, pass out the quizzes, and once everyone has a quiz on their desk, then restart the video. Okay, students, here we go. I did not give you a word bank for such a small fill in the blanks. There's just four of those, so um, that is definitely um, reasonable. So four fill in the blanks, and then numbers five, six, and seven. Um, solve for x for five and six, and number seven also solve for seven. Okay, so that's it. Um, or solve for x on number seven. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. You should know what to do, and hopefully you studied and prepared for this. That's all for today, students. Remember, if they're Mrs. Duke, if the student is in the room, then they take the quiz. Okay, um, please get started on your quizzes and then notes. Have a great weekend. Contact me if you have any questions at all.